assigned to it. And output here. So I will call it A inverted. Introduce various pulse. So we don't have to generate, we don't have to modify our piece by cinema. And I will use clock, fit it to the A line. I will pick the slower clock aside to it right there. And before we save this, we make sure it satisfies the design rule. So I'll click the design rule checker DRC and he found some error right here. The metal width is less than 3 lambda, so we got to correct that. So that whole line on the top is rather too narrow. So I will add an additional layer to it, make it thicker. And maybe cut up this end here. Okay. And let's try the design rule checker again. This section here is also too small. So we fill that up, this one here. I think that is the excess there. Why don't we might as well enlarge this slightly. Like that, fill up the cuff. And I believe we have some more error. Let's continue checking it down here. This is the extra and this is also too small. So let us enlarge the size of this. Maybe this wide. And remove this small protruding metal piece. Okay. And invoke the DRC again. He found out the surrounding this contact uh, between the metal and the N plus uh, contact is too small. So we will uh, replace that or another way in making the N plus bigger. But I'll just replace it. I will move it out and replace it with something smaller. Like that. Perform rule check again. Looks like no problem. So it, w it, w it, went, it went through correctly. So we will save this as the my inverter. And then we can likewise perform a 2D uh, IC layout processing sequence if we want to, like we did before. Okay. Now we will generate the spice net list. using a sub, sub IC. Simulation time is only uh, 5 nanoseconds. So we will invoke our SPICE program input the circuit file by inverter 
right there. And the voltage clock is appearing at node 5 right here. And the inverted A is at node 2. So we will run the simulation. I'll trace to it. First, let's put the 5. Then we will superimpose another layer of waveform representing node 2. And right there. So, recall node 5 and node 2 are complementary. So this is node 5, our input, and the inverted output is at node 2. We could have simplified the design if we invoke, if we invoke the layout generator. Right now, we have a so I'm going to click Generate and drop it here. Likewise, I can uh, generate Enmos. I put somewhere here. Now, These are already available in the library cell as a cell element. Therefore, they are rather, they are conveniently sized already. And notice we can, so if you really need a PMOS or NMOS, you can quickly create one by invoking the generator, let's say for NMOS, like that. So you need only to supply, as you can see, the needed BDD and PSS. So to make, to make a connection, to connect the VDD to one side of the PMOS, you can easily do that this way. And the other side, take one of these contact and drop it in here. And likewise to the uh, Enmos. This will be our BSS and this is the BDD and this is the PMOS transistor and this is the output LAN. So you, it will save you quite a bit of time because this PMOS and NMOS is already pre-fabricated. That will speed up your design.